Hello. Come right on in. You're it, Father Fish. Nice to have you with us. I uh, tested my TJ, tested my local river water, pH 6.4, it's a lot of rainwater, GH 4K to 11, it's pretty soft water, and live in the mountains, well that makes sense, and and you're not getting uh, water running through any, um, um, what am I thinking, what's it called, <laughs> I don't know, my brain's not turned on. It's spring water, like rainwater, snow water, whatever, surface right. water. So surface water would have, it would be a low pH, uh, low KH, and low GH. And that's what you have. So mm -hmm. it's very nice water. Um, and there, there are certain fish that love it, uh, that, that will greatly benefit from it. And what I would do is, since since you have a continuing source of it, I would um, I would experiment with fish in it. Now, here's what you don't want to do. You don't want to take fish that are in a pH of seven five to eight zero, take them out and plop them in a tank with water that's six to six five. And here's why you don't want to do that, because it probably will kill them relatively quickly, like within minutes to an hour. And the reason is, the reason has to do with, with the barometric pressure. It has to do with the, the pressure of the water. Water with very high mineral, mineralization is denser. That makes sense, doesn't it? And so it uh, it creates more pressure uh, in the water column. Water with very low uh, solubles is much softer, much less pressure. Now, think about the fish. This fish has membrane that are surrounding every single cell, not just the skin on the, on the body, but but each individual cell in that fish has a membrane surrounding liquid. The liquid inside the cell is at the same pressure as the water on the outside. That's water it's been living in for an extended period of time. So let's say that fish is living in water that's 8.0. And we're going to take it out of that and put it in water that's 6.0. What happens? The water is softer. So what does what happens to the liquid in that cell? It expands. And as it expands, the cell wall expands to the point where it can rupture. And when it does, the fish will die. It'll bleed to death. You'll begin to see red around the base of the of the of the spines of the of the fins of the fish. If you see red around the base of the fins, that's generally a function of a, a, a drop in uh, water pressure, in, in, in water density, lower than the fish's body is, is, is used to maintaining. You can acclimate the fish to that water, but you have to do it very slowly. And by very slowly, I mean upwards of a week, not minutes or hours, days, a number of days. Stephen, you might want to chime in here if you like to, to give a little more scientific background to this. People who lose fish very often lose them for this reason, because they're, they're taking it out of water that is hard and alkaline and putting them in water that's soft and acid. And so the pressure of the water 
is less. The cell walls of the fish expand suddenly, reach a bursting point or a tearing point, and the fish dies. So, nice to have soft acid water. Be careful how you use it. Acclimate your fish slowly. Uh, a little bit, maybe, maybe a point, a point two degree change every day. Um, that would be a one full point change in in five days, uh, from eight to seven, seven to six, another five days. So you can do it in less than that, but do it slowly. Do it gradually, and you'll be okay. Yeah. Um, well, I hope you found something you've never seen before. Have a great day. Nice to have you with us. Come on back.